I'm going to say some stuff tonight that probably a lot of people don't want to hear, and maybe some people will disagree with, maybe call me insensitive, but I know what it took for me to actually make change in my life. And if you're a part of my inner circle group, you know, you know, all right? And I'm not going to allow anybody to just sit in their pain. And the problem with pain is this, and I want you to check yourself tonight. Like so many people, you know, are going through pain. I understand it. But just because you're going through pain does not give you an excuse to act a certain way, to talk down on somebody else, to give pain to other people. Like, that's not going to heal you. And so many people think giving pain is the best way to heal theirs. And I understand, I don't, maybe I don't understand what you went through, you know, but I do understand like being in a bad place in your life. Trust me, I've been there where it, everything sucks. You think everybody's against you. The world's against you. Like anything that doesn't go right, you think it's a scam or you think that this person is fake and a lot, a lot, this or that. Let me tell you something. If everything around you right, is negative and people around you are telling you that you're a negative person, right, and you've created that environment, you got to take ownership in that. And I know it's not for everybody in here, and I'm going to talk to everybody, but I, for select people that's watching this, I want you to take ownership in that, right? Going through hard times is not an excuse to act like a bad person. I want to say another word, but I'm not on here tonight. Going through hard times is not an excuse to tear down other people. It's not at all, period. And everybody's not out to get you. I want you to understand that. Like I see it even with me. Like I'll, even when I offer my inner circle, right? People are like, oh, you're, you're out to get me. I'm like, out to get you? Like, what did I do? <laughs> but there's so many people that's going through pain and not dealing with their pain, right? There's so many people that are living in their story, okay? Listen, I want to say this loud and clear. Living in your story will not help you change your story. You understand me, okay? And Listen, I'm not being insensitive. I'm not telling you that your story isn't real. I'm not telling you because telling you, you have to accept your story, right? You have to accept that you've been through it. But too many times we find significance in our sad story, right? And we stay there, right? Because we get it. Trust me, I was there. When I lost football, I hate to always bring this up. When I lost football, like that was my go-to because I found significance because people would feel sorry for me. But guess what? When people, with, with people feeling sorry for me and me feeling sorry for myself, did nothing for my life but keep me in that same, same exact pain period. Okay. So maybe you told your story. Great. But guess what? You can't keep living in your story, expecting your life to change, right? You have to, you have to take ownership and say, you know what? I'm going to turn the page to this story. I'm not going to live in this victim mindset. Like if you're around me, if you listen to me, if you're being coached by me, if you ever watch any of my videos, one thing that I'm never going to allow you to do is live in a victim mindset. The truth hurts sometimes, right? And you want to run and go hide. I get that. But guess what? Running and hiding will never help you change your situation. You're going to be stuck in the same situation, complaining, blaming the world, getting mad at everybody else because you haven't took ownership of your life, right? I always say this, the pain might not be your fault, right? Where you're at today might not be your fault, but where you're choosing to stay at today is on you. Your healing is your responsibility. You rising above is your responsibility. Understand that you changing your life is your responsibility. And telling yourself the same old story over and over and over again and putting it out there for sympathy is not going to change anything, period. And listen, I told my story. I put my story out there. But after I put my story out there, you know what I said? So you know what? I'm going to change my story. This is not going to become my identity. I'm not going to allow this to be the rest of my life, living in this victim mindset. I refuse to live like that. I deserve better with my life. My kids deserve better. My wife deserves better of me. Rehabbers across the world deserve better of me. Period. I'm not going to stay here and allow this to make me a person, a bitter person that's mad at the world because of my own stuff. And I see far too many people doing that. I see it every single day. And it's on you. It's your choice, right? If you want to just live in your pain, feel free. But I know most of you watching this right now, you don't want to live in your pain. You wouldn't be on here right now if you wanted to live in your pain. I know most of you want more and most of you are like, well, Trent, how do I do it? Right. There's so many how to's. But first, I need you to accept this fact. Right. You can't keep living in your story. You can't keep living in your story and posting your story. Right. Over the same things. If it's not helping you. Right. I, I don't even tell my story no more, really, because I'm so far removed from it. I don't even like to go back to it. There was a time where I told my story a lot, but it was still a growth story in that story. Some of us, we we blame and we complain and we put everything on everybody else to justify where we're at. And I'll repeat, the pain might not have been your fault, right? Where you're at today might not have been your fault, but where you're choosing to stay at, that's on you. 
That's on you. And you cannot allow someone who didn't care about you make you a person that don't care about people because they win when that happens. I see so many people turn into the pain that they hate it. Turn into the person that they hate it. You allow them to turn you into a person that controls you. That's why I say forgiveness is a must. Is a must because if you don't forgive, you will become the pain that they gave you. And now you become a person that looks bitter to the world, that gives pain to other people, that hurts other people. And you justify it by saying, you know what? My life was rough. Somebody helped. Somebody hurt me. That's not a valid excuse. That's not a valid reason. Period. I don't care what happened to you in your life. That's no reason for you to be a messed up person to other people. And I'm tired of seeing that. I'm tired of seeing people tear other people down and then their excuses. Well, I'm going through a lot. A lot of people are going through a lot. But use that going through a lot to build you, not to break you. To make you stronger. And I get it. This message isn't a message that everybody wants to hear, but everybody needs to hear. I'm not on here to make feel-good messages for you because feel-good messages don't automatically create change in your life, right? It just makes you feel good, right? It's time to have transformation. It's time to make a shift. It's time to have a perspective shift. It's time to move forward. It's time to let go. And it's time to stop allowing that same story to control your life, right? It's time for you to create another story. And guess what? You have the power right now to turn the page. And I was, and I can talk like this because I was that person. I was that bitter person. I was the person that wanted everybody to feel sorry for me by telling myself the same old story. You know what? People felt sorry for me for two minutes, for two minutes. And then they went on about their life. And I was turned into a person that I didn't even know who I was anymore. Right? Angry all the time, miserable, full of pain, giving pain to other people, hating on other people for no reason, seeing the bad in everything in life, seeing the negative in everything in life. And it was tearing my life apart. So I refuse to allow that to be you because I wasted about a year of my life being that person and I refuse to let you waste a year or years of your life being that person because you deserve better. You are better than that, right? You're not that. You weren't born cold-hearted. You weren't born to tear down people. That's not who you are. That's not who you are at all. That is learned behavior, right? That is something in life not going right. That is somebody giving you some pain that is the struggle of life, turning, turning you into a person that you're not. So I need you, okay, to accept your story. Accept it, right? If you told it, great. But don't keep living in sympathy. Let's get it.